So do you enjoy vlogging? Uh, yeah, of course I do. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I really like when uh, people walk up to me and ask me to write on certain topics, you know, right. uh, because that actually hits uh, home. Okay. That actually is useful, right? I mean, uh, just asking people uh, to do some generic stuff uh, does not make sense. Uh, you need to share your own experience. Okay, I ran 50 kilometers, right? But what did I eat? Right. Right. How much did I bolus? Correct. I ate a pizza yesterday. I took 12 units. I ate 5 slices. And my sugar before was 100. After was around 120, 130. So, th so these are the kind of uh, things, information you should give. Right. Instead of just giving some generic stuff to people that, okay, fine, like measure yourself five times while running or, or drink plenty of water while running. Everyone knows that Any you need to, that. yeah. So, just be very specific and to the point. You know? I love to yes. share my experiences. Yeah. So there are specifically, you know, I'll say that this suited me and try it. Yes. I'll say try it because it may suit you, but it may help you. It may not suit you exactly what right. it is, but at least, you know, people will now think that you said, okay, yeah, let me bolus 20, 25 minutes before and figure it out and then check later on and see. That will change, right? And then you increased your dose at the same time, right? Yes. So that was the point. So many times people want to take that less units and eat everything. It doesn't work. And there where carb counting comes in. He has also written a blog on carb counting. And yeah. I hope very soon we get to read that. Yeah, sure. uh, because see, there is a lot of information. But that information when you, when you yourself go through it and share, no, the value of it increases a lot. And that's what people want to know also. Right. And then uh, nowadays, how has the diabetes community helped you? You know, you are also part of a number of communities right. and uh, what difference it caused uh, in your diabetic life? Mm, so, what I feel is that uh, the diabetes community has got me uh, sorted a year or two before I actually would be able to sort myself. I would have taken much longer. Uh, thanks to the people around me, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Jog, Dr. Meena Kumari, Sai, you know, uh, you also, you know, uh, I saw you for the first time uh, in that Kothrudwala uh, run and uh, you you said that uh, you're diabetic since 29 years and you were just jogging away to glory and I was like, oh shit, what what's she doing? I mean, <laughs> is she okay? <laughs> so, so uh, that actually, you know, uh, helped me a lot and uh, you know, knowing people's experiences, like, you know, uh, the mistakes which you guys have made uh, as kids, you know, as teenagers. Uh, that with that I got to learn a lot right right uh, even today teenagers are the most difficult people to deal with right. I mean teenage, teenagers come to me and ask me for help you know right. and they'll be like uh, me uh, I've given them clear instructions that do not eat when you're at 200 and someone called me the other day hey me I'm at 400 what should I do so I asked him to send me his graph right. and uh, his graph was at 250 and it spiked to 400 so I said, hey, but I asked you not to eat when you were uh, above 200. And his response was, I ate vada pao because I was hungry. So wait, I'm, I'm pausing at that point. So many times when sugar rises, I want to tell you that, you will have hunger pranks. Now how to curb them is either, uh, so things which will not raise your sugar is cucumber, tomato, buttermilk. And uh, if they're really high, do warm water with lemon. Mm. It will just curb your hunger for that time. Yes. Wait, 400 and eating makes no sense because again you're going to pump in insulin which will cause another low. Yes. So if you're hungry, pick up the right things. You can pick up a salad, you can pick up buttermilk, you can pick up nimbu pani and maybe sometimes a little bit fist of chana also works, you know. Yes. It's just to satisfy that mental uh, thing of mujhe bhook lagi hai. So that's why, you know, I said because this is the mistakes what generally diabetics do and it's not I'm not saying mistake because the body is so body gives gets very hungry when sugars are low and it gets very hungry when sugars are high and it's individualistic so for me I never used to get hungry when sugars used to go high mm -hmm. and now it's different yeah. it's different because once in a while they go high and I'm very hungry so your symptoms change right I my mean, symptoms have, have come to a stage where there is uh, hypoglycemia unawareness same symptoms for high and low blood right, sugar right. it's just because of cgms and me checking regularly i know because my mental i'm like this only happy so my face is happy and there are no symptoms coming 
apart from sweating uh, a little bit of being unconscious so no sugar symptoms are clear yeah. but sometimes those also are not clear mm-hmm. so because you know when you are used to a very strict regime of keeping sugars and you get to close to 70 80 that 60 and 50 also makes you comfort which is a not great thing so getting a graph definitely helps and and then so uh, again so being in a community right so uh, i learned a lot from the community so my blogs are a way to give back to the community uh, i also try and spend uh, my saturdays at kgm diabetes unit uh, okay. helping people like giving them small small trips uh, tips hacks stuff like that So so every Saturday you've been going. Uh, Most whenever I get uh, time, whenever I have a. I miss on it really badly because I am stuck up here and at the Wakar Center, so you know, yeah. not able to come. But you should totally come someday, right? I mean. I had told Doctor Yadnik if yeah. it was some other day <laughs> than Saturday, it would have been much more easier for me. Yeah. True. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's always good to talk, and uh, you know, people have so many doubts, and when they're just diagnosed, I want to be there for them because you know when we were diagnosed, I was diagnosed. I didn't. So apart from my parents and doctors, there was no other help. There was no community, and definitely community. Uh, you feel you are in the crowd. You feel the crowd is doing it together. So no matter what, you know that you can move with the crowd, and it gives you that stepping stone of sorting your life as diabetic. Also, some people will get that change in themselves. You know. True. So our community also makes us run. You know, we have the we have the run which is going on. I have not gone for three runs because uh, there's some event going on, but I hope so. Have you been there for? a couple of runs now or you've been missing so last three times i've run away from the runs <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to get back then right. yeah i'll get back yeah i'll get because back because meena's mom has been there for most of the runs your yeah. mama is always she wakes there. me up for the runs yes uh, i'll be like ah, let me sleep let me sleep <laughs> but right. yeah